Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Nice to see you. Nice to be back here on Burns Night uh, or Burns Day. Uh, 25th of January 1759 is when Robert Burns was born and in Scotland and around the world uh, his birth is celebrated by having a, a Burns Night supper or just maybe it's just celebrated with a shave. That's what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, Robert Burns was Scotland's uh, poet in uh, well, when he was alive throughout his years, he wrote many poems and uh, many songs. Uh, probably the, the most famous one that most people will know is the one that's uh, sung at on New Year's Eve, uh, just after midnight, uh, Auld Lang Syne. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind. That one. That's, uh, that was written by Robert Burns and it's sung the world over. So, uh, 25th of January, People celebrate Burns, uh, Robert Burns, uh, by eating haggis, neeps and tatties at a Burns supper, which is haggis, Scotland's national dish. Um, neeps, which are turnips, it's a Scottish word for turnips, neeps, haggis, neeps and tatties, which are potatoes. So haggis, uh, turnip and potatoes. Haggis, neeps and tatties, that's the way to say it. Um, so that's what's celebrated. They drink whiskey, they drink... Iron Brew, they drink other things, anything alcoholic usually the Scottish people will just drink, yeah come on let's go. Robert Burns was a, a big drinker, he was a, he loved the women, he loved, loved the women, he had um, very uh, many affairs and stuff like that. He was married but he did, he just, uh, he had an eye for the women especially after he had a drink. Uh, so we're going to celebrate by using some Scottish products today, uh, some not Scottish products but mostly Scottish products. Uh, let me show you the razor first, which isn't a Scottish product. Uh, this is the Blackland Trudare. Now, I thought this was pronounced Tradir, but uh, it's on loan to me from J. Fett. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate your kindness and let me try this razor out. Here it is here, beautifully made, all stainless steel. Yeah, J. tells me it's pronounced Trudare. Trudare. So that's how I'm going to say it. Um, so there, here it is here, yeah, it's quite a long handle, stainless steel, comes apart like this, three piece, uh, there's the top cap there, obviously no blade overhang because it's all enclosed, yeah, very nicely made, there's the uh, base here, and on the back it has Blackland Trudare, and the serial number on the bottom. I like these lather channels here, the four lather channels. I like that. Now the blade I'm going to be putting in that is a Scottish blade. Uh, it's these, these vintage Permasharp. Uh, these were made, as you'll see when I take a blade out. I just get one out. There we go. Uh, these were made in the UK. Um, it says there on it, stainless Great Britain but they were uh, made in a factory in or near Glasgow in Scotland um, before they were bought out by Gillette and made in Russia probably. <laughs> uh, Supreme Stainless, yeah look, made in Great Britain. Can you see my eyes through that? Um, right, so we'll put this onto the Truda Ray. Yeah, you can see that there, look. It, um, the blade sits in these little notches which is good. Put the bottom cap on, put the little washer on, screw the handle in. Yeah, very smooth, all oh, very nice. Nicely aligned. Beautiful, beautiful razor. Really, really smart. I like this little bit of the side, little kind of indents there with the lines to take the top cap off. It has a good heft to it, this razor. It's quite slim, the profile, the handle's quite long. It has this uh, knurling here. You can see it there, very nice. Very, very nice. Right, the brush I'm going to be using is, uh, it's not a Scottish brush per se, but it uh, it's, has the flower of Scotland on it, which is the thistle coin. There's the thistle there, green and purple, and here's the brush, green and purple. Yeah, this was very kindly um, commissioned from er uh, commissioned from Leo Frilo by Ernie Rocha, uh, and Ernie gifted it to me uh, for I think it was a birthday 
gift. It might have been Christmas, I can't remember. But that's the colours of the thistle, green and purple, as is in the colours of the brush. Beautiful, with a, a, a boss knot, synthetic knot. Yeah, really, really beautiful brush. Well, thank you, Ernie. I appreciate your kindness, sir. Yeah, it even looks like it's uh, the kind of it looks like it has the fibre of the plant. Beautiful, I love it. Um, so that's the brush and razor. The soap I'm going to be using. I was gifted some um, some of these products made by this company. Uh, I was gifted them at Christmas from Mrs. Kevy, my wife. Uh, and it's these things here. Um, this is the Scottish Fine, Scottish Fine Soaps Company, um, made in Scotland. Uh, this is the, the soap in the bowl, shave soap bowl set, vetiver and sandalwood. I think they also do a thistle and black pepper. I think you could get this at Executive Shaving, so I'll, I'll put the link for that. Uh, I'm not sure if Mrs. Kevy bought that here. Um, I hope she used the Kevy 5 discount code if she did buy it. From there. <laughs> from there. Right, so that's the thing. If you're using executive shaving to get any of this stuff, I'm not actually sure if this is on sale now for Burns Night. It might be, it might not be. Anyway, use the code, I'll put it on the screen now, Kevy5, you get 5% discount off, um, off your total before shipping at executive shaving. 5%, it all helps. Right, so I've got this. I also, I'll put some pictures up here. I've got the shave cream. I also got the aftershave balm. I got the hard soap in the bowl, which I'll show you in a minute. I got the EDT, which I'm going to use. I got a shampoo bar, that little shampoo bar in that beautiful tin. And also the body soap, all in this vetiver and sandalwood. It smells lovely, it really, really does. Um, let me show you the ingredients of the soap. Some people like to see that. I'm not sure how this will perform, how it will work. How it will go, I just don't know. But let me take it out of the box. So here's the box here. Comes like that. So there's the uh, men's grooming. What's that say? Salubrious satisfaction. It has these little holes at the bottom. Nice wooden lid. There's the soap in there. And there's the, uh, the like porcelain dish. Very nice. Let's take this uh, soap out of the paper. So here it's here. Here's the soap. Not really much smell on it at the moment. Once it's uh, lathered, it feels a bit grainy, which is nice. Yeah. So that sits in the bowl like that, and you can put it on for storage, obviously. But it looks great. Just well made, and it's Scottish. Made <laughs> in Scotland. <laughs> Right, let's uh, put a little bit of water on the top of that soap just to kind of start it blooming. Yeah, it's a little bit, there's a little bit of scent to it. We'll wet the brush. The blade's already. How are you? Good. Are you going to be celebrating Burns Night tonight? Or Burns, did you celebrate if you're watching at a later time? Did you have some haggis or did you have some whiskey or did you have some other kind of drink? Some American whiskey. Right. I don't know how this is going to perform this soap, so we'll just uh, go like this. <laughs> it's, it's rattling about a little bit in the bowl, but we'll just try and gather some on the tips of the brushes. Yeah, you can see the soap spinning around. Spin, spin, spin. Probably easier to take it out of that bowl, actually. First time using it. And just uh, <laughs> what's the point in having the bowl in, Kevin? Well, because it looks good on the shelf. <laughs> but just the first time using it, I'll, I'll I'll put it. I'll maybe actually grate this soap and just put it into the container. You know, like a, a Mitchell's wheel fat. Some people do that. They just grate the soap and then they'll put it into the press it into the container. I might do that. Yeah, I'm not sure how this performs or anything like that. So. We'll just load the hell out of it. I don't know what it's like. Great scent. Right, let me wet the face. And we'll put this back into the bowl and we'll...
Yeah, I was going to use the uh, the cream, but I think it's a brushless cream because it doesn't say. It just says apply to the face, um, work into the bristles, and then shave. It doesn't say use a brush or anything like that. But this one does. Feels nice and slick. Right, here we go. Yeah, two of my favourite scents. Uh, vetiver and sandalwood. As you can see, it's whipping up the lather. Very good, looks good. Lather actually. Mm. This brush feels lovely. Lovely and soft. A little bit more water. Nice lather on that actually. Looks good. Caught it on my hand. <laughs> Good stuff, right? Leave the brush there. Put some heat in the tree that right. From Blackland la lasers, <laughs> Blackland lasers. Whoosh. Right, let's go with this. See how it feels. That feels nice. Lovely and smooth. So, so feels slick, which is good. Yeah, as I say, this was a Christmas gift from uh, Mrs. Kevy to myself. I didn't know she was getting me it, so no overhang on this razor, so nothing to worry about there around the ears. Yeah, so um, Burns Night. Burns night tonight. I'm not sure actually if the burn suppers. A lot of people have like um, like really organised ones, but um, I'm not sure with the COVID restrictions if they're still going ahead. And... Right, there used to be um, there's like burns clubs in Scotland where uh, people will go and recite the poetry and sing the songs. But, um, and obviously, 25th of January, they'll have the Burns Supper. Where the uh, the haggis is, uh, comes in on a tree with an, an, a, a, a dagger next to it, and it's piped in by a, a bagpiper, and everybody claps and, yeah, here, here comes the haggis, here comes supper, here comes the supper. And then one guy gets the haggis and he puts the dagger in it and there's a poem that goes with it and uh, yeah, it's all, uh, it's all very good actually. I like a burnt supper. Mainly because of the food. <laughs> Very easy to get under the nose, quite a, quite a slim profile head, so it looks quite bulky but it's not. Right, first pass, nice slickness on that, let me rinse it, I'll come back for the second pass. Okay, nicely rinsed off, yeah, quite good um, residual slickness there. Right, back to this brush.
How many people watching have uh, Scottish ancestry? You know, did they come over to your country wherever you are? Canada, the States, Australia, Europe. There's a lot of uh, people with Scottish uh, heritage in their bloodlines. <laughs> I just hope you don't have the uh, the Scottish <laughs> the Scottish heart tradition. I think Scotland has the worst uh, heart disease in the in the Western world. Actually, funnily enough, that's how Robert Burns died with a heart attack. But he was a he was a big drinker and stuff, and he yeah, he probably um, probably overdone it at times, shall we say? As most of us have. That's what living's for, right? Overdoing it, then, but just be careful, yeah. Right, second pass with this wonderful razor. Thank you, Jay. Yeah, I actually bought a razor from Jay and he said, when I'm sending it up, after you're buying it, do you want to try this? And it's a razor that's actually, it's been on my radar for a little while. My razor radar. Uh, when it came out I really like the look of it I don't think I actually think I don't think they're making it now I don't know if the production has stopped or if they're not making any more so if you have one hold on to it unless you want to sell it to me of course no, no. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Yeah, there was a lot of people who said that it was really mild. I wouldn't say it's really mild. It's, uh, it doesn't feel aggressive, but it's very efficient. Let's mow that down easy enough. Listen to this. Yeah, some people, uh, don't like the, the, the kind of length of the handle. Some people don't like long handles like that. I don't mind either way. It feels very smooth. I'll tell you that much. I tell you that much, it feels very smooth. Wow, great. Right, let me rinse and come back for the third pass. Okay, that's that rinsed. Yeah, let's just uh, grab what's in this. Bowl. <laughs> Put it on the face. Get back to this brush. Oh, have I took the top of that off? Have I? That little blemish, yeah, it looks like it. Right, I just need to be careful with that. Lather's held up well. Still looks good. Little dip of the tips here. Hmm. Yeah. Look. I'm just taking the top of that off. Let me just get the uh, Allen block. I'll just. I'll just rub that on it. Just to stop that bleeding. It's a little blemish. It's always there. Sometimes if the if I don't have much stubble there, it, um, it just takes the top of it off. You've probably seen me doing it before. We'll see how that goes. There's not going to be much lather there with that. Right, I just need to be careful around that, but that's fine. Right. To this razor, the Trudari, Trudari, Trudari. It sounds Scottish, doesn't it? Right against the growth.
yeah, it feels good. Oh, that's a nice blade actually, the old uh, the old vintage perma sharps. Good blades. Very light touch. Right, I've just got to be careful around this little uh, blemish. Right there, is there. Okay. Still hear the feedback there. Pretty good. I must have a. I must have some alum on that finger. So. <laughs> as soon as you do that, it kills all the slickness. Yeah, this is a. a it's a light scent, but it's very nice. The the mix of the vetiver and sandalwood, excellent. Great stuff. Right, let me have a quick rinse. See if there's any pickups. Yeah, usual spots, just just here. Just under here, under the neck. Yeah, this razor feels very smooth. The long handles, um, it gives it good balance, I think. You know, you can just, I like to rest my pinky on the bottom, just let the just let the razor do the work. The razor and blade it will do it for you. Still nice and slick on that. This is your slickness on the soap. Good. Take a little bit there. Feels good. Feels good. Feels good. Right, I'm going to use the Allen block. Cold water rinse. Just to see how it feels. Nice shave. Right. Oh, block under the cold tap. Feels good, nothing there. Nothing here. That feels good. Yeah, a little bit up here, just at that little blemish. And a tiny bit down here. Let me just put a little bit on that. I should have got the uh, <laughs> the electric shaver. That's what <laughs> doing it at the end like that. Nice shave. Yeah, feels good. Feels good. That's all the stickness gone. Look. <laughs> right. What I'll do? I'll let this uh, sit on for a minute or two, and then I'll get the rest of the lather from this. Have a little face wash, clean everything out, and come back for the post shave. See you soon. Yeah, great shave, feels good. Okay, onto the post shave. Um, I'm going with the matching balm, the aftershave balm, vetiver and sandalwood. Cold 
quite uh, no, really really thick, but oh, ho, ho. oh yeah, that smells lovely. Well, that goes a long way. Yeah, that smells really good. A lovely combination, vetiver and sandalwood. Yeah, it smells great. I think there's a bit of menthol in that, is there? Uh, de -de 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 -de. Can't really see the ingredients, but feels good. Yeah, it's a little bit cooling, but it feels really nice. There we go. And finishing off with, uh, I've taken it out of the box, the uh, EDT, a charismatic contemporary masculine fragrance blending the rich earthy notes of vetiver and sandalwood with, with vibrant top notes of citrus and cardamom. Nice glass bottle. Right, do I just spray it right on the face or in the hand? Let's just go right on the face. Put a little bit on here. Oh, that smell. Yeah, that's a great blend. It's a, it's quite an earthy vetiver in the EDT, but the sandalwood kind of rounds it off. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. How's that looking for Burns Night? Good? Good enough to eat haggis? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> right, let me show you what we've used uh, in this Burns Night shave. The razor was the Blackland Trudare, very kindly loaned to me by Jay Fett. Thank you, Jay. I shall clean it all, get it all sent back to you uh, pretty soon. Thanks very much. Very nice razor. Great balance. Great weight. Yeah, very smooth. I like it. Yeah, that was a razor. Inside that was a brand new, made in Scotland, Permasharp stainless blade. The brush was the uh, Leo Frilo custom thistle brush. Uh, very kindly sent and gifted by Ernie Rocher. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. I'll always look after this, always treasure it. Uh, great brush. The soap was the, I'll just shoot the box. Scottish Fine Soap Company, Vetiver and Sandalwood, the one in the bowl. Here we go, here's the bowl. There's the soap, all cleaned out. That goes back on like that. Beautiful, isn't it? Looks great. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure how it would work. Whipped up the lather, no problem. It was uh, nice and thick. Quite a light scent, but a great blend of scent, Vetiver and Sandalwood, very good. As I say, I think, I'll put links, I'll put the link to Executive Shaving. I think you can get all this stuff here. Uh, or there in executive shaving so um, but remember to use the code kevy 5 and you'll get money off it so that's good um, yeah the soap was very good it was very good no problem at all had a little face wash with it at the end there and uh, yeah feels good um, three passes pickups use the allen block on this little thing up here but it's okay it seems to be okay now yep all good um, had a little face wash rinse that off post shave was the Vetiver and Sandalwood matching aftershave balm, and then we finished it with the matching EDT. Can you see me through that? <laughs> yeah, good stuff. I like it. That's uh, a Scottish company, so um, I was always going to get my support for that. Um, yeah, I brought the cream down actually. There's the cream, but it does say on the back uh, to use wet face with warm water and massage cream into stubble. Shave and rinse, so it doesn't mention a brush. So I think it's I think it's uh, brushless, but I'm not 100%. But um, I might do a little test lather, see how it goes. Uh, but that's all for me for today. Uh, uh, if you're celebrating a burn supper tonight, if you're having some haggis, neeps and tatties, and some whiskey or some uh, other beverage, yeah, enjoy it. Uh, have fun. I hope you uh, have a good time and have a good shave before it or after it. Uh, don't shave after it because that might just be a <laughs> a mess if you've uh, had a few too many of the old uh, a wee nip of whiskey um, or three or six yeah don't do that shave before shave before the burnt supper uh, and you'll enjoy the dancing more look at your kilt remember no underwear underneath it that's what a true Scotsman doesn't wear <laughs> right so uh, yeah 
But um, thanks for joining me. Thanks for your support. Uh, I'm up to date with the comments, I think. Thanks for everything. And I will see you in the next shave. Lang me your lum reek. Okay, <laughs> take care.